First of all, I just want to thank everyone who's watched any of my videos. I really appreciate it. My last video, the compilation of all the Model Y sightings, has hit over 100,000 views, and that's awesome. It's linked up here in the description below. And then we also just recently hit 3,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you so much, and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and let's get into the video. For today, we just have a couple quick updates about the Model Y. So first up was that a Model Y was spotted out in the snow, and it was videoed by Christopher Radoff, and it was out in the northern Sierra Nevada region. Basically, what can be gleaned from this is just that Tesla is paying hopefully a little more attention to cold climates in the future and with the Model Y especially, because we know that Teslas perform really well in the snow with the all-wheel drive, but they have had to issue some extra like weather kits and stuff to properly take care of the car. And a lot of people criticize them because they're based in California and there's never snow in California that they don't worry about this as much. So now it looks like they're hopefully worrying about it more with the Model Y. As you can see in the video, the Model Y is driving through the snow with absolutely no problem. Can't really see much detail there, but it definitely is a Model Y because we can see that it's bigger than a Model 3 and it looks pretty much exactly the same. And it looks like it's performing really well, so that's great to see. Next up, the Model Y Performance officially received its CARB certification. So that's the California Air Resource Board. And basically the reason this is significant is that the Model 3 received its CARB certification 25 days before it was delivered. So first off, this is no guarantee that that will be the same with the Model Y, but it's a possibility. Basically, if Tesla already got this certification, they're probably not changing anything about the Model Y's design before release, because if they did, then they'd have to do the whole process again, get the certification, because there's certain numbers that come with the certification, and I'll get to those in a second. I'm not getting my hopes up that the Model Y is 25 days or less away, but it is possible, and it seems like the car design is probably actually finalized. So with the Model 3, it was about 25 days after the CARB certification that they actually delivered. But they kind of really needed to deliver the Model 3, and they needed to get it out there. They were anxious. With the Model Y, I don't feel like they're going to be as anxious about it because they had already said late 2020, and then they moved that up to summer of 2020. So I don't think they're going to be quite as anxious to beat that already moved up timeline, but we'll see what happens. As you know, we've seen a bunch of these in the wild, and they've had the official dual motor badge, they've been looking better and better, and looking like actual release candidates. So if Tesla is sitting on a bunch of pre-orders, the car itself is finalized, they have the CARB certification, and the production line is ready to go at Fremont, I don't see why they wouldn't want to put these out as soon as possible. Keep in mind that when Tesla starts delivering a new car, they start delivering the most expensive variant first. So we can expect that the performance version of the Model Y is the one that's going to ship first, then after that the all-wheel drive long-range version, then last up for this year the rear-wheel drive long-range version, which is the one that I pre-ordered. And then we can expect the standard range version in 2021, unless that gets pushed up as well. So if you're like me and you ordered a long-range rear-wheel drive version of the Model Y, don't be expecting that in February if deliveries end up beginning then. I'm imagining at least a few months of a ramp up of production, and then on top of that, the rear wheel drive long range is gonna be the last that they come out with. Besides, of course, the standard range version. The downside of this is basically that I'm just not in the initial deliveries, but the upside is that, well, this one's cheaper, and it gets a little bit of a longer range, and then I have more time to save up for that ever important down payment. The other aspect of the CARB certification is sort of confirming something that I've said in my other videos. So Tesla lists the long range rear wheel drive at 300 miles and the all wheel drive and performance versions at 280 miles of range. And I've said before that I think these are going to increase before it gets released and it looks like this is getting confirmed or at least there's evidence to confirm that it's going to improve before it comes out. Real quick aside that I want to mention that I didn't mention in the rest of the video is that Tesla actually officially launched their Model Y program in China at their Shanghai factory, Gigafactory 3. And so this is exciting because this means that they're going to be bringing the Model 3 and the Model Y to China. And they've already started deliveries of the Model 3 at Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai. So they're building them specifically for the Chinese market, which is the biggest EV market in the world and they're delivering them over there, and it looks like they've started the official program to hopefully get Model Ys going by either the end of this year or early next year. Crossovers are super popular all over the world, so that will be a great selling car, hopefully over in China. But keep in mind, I wanna clarify 
that the Made in China Model Ys are not going to be in the U.S. Those are delivered specifically to the Chinese market. So when you see people say Model Y will be built in China, that is true, but it will also be built in the U.S. at the Fremont factory. And when you buy in the U.S., you're going to be getting one from the Fremont factory built in the USA. Don't worry, it's not made in China. Even though the quality is great at Gigafactory 3 from everything we've heard, you don't have to worry, it's built in the US. And I just wanna clarify that because a lot of people say, oh, it's being built in China. Why would I wanna buy a non-US car from a non-US company, even though Tesla is a US company and your Model Y would be built in the USA. All right, back to the rest of the video. The CARB certification uses this thing called the Urban Dynamometer Driving Schedule, the UDDS. And basically this calculates the range of an electric car in absolute perfect conditions. So keep in mind, before I give you the number, this is not a real world number, and usually the actual EPA range is about 70% of what this number is. But the UDDS lists the Model Y at 441.91 miles. So if we do some math based on how that UDDS number translates for the Model 3 with the performance version, we could see that this range could be about 309 miles in an EPA estimated range. So that's almost the same 310 miles that is in the Model 3. So if we take into account the fact that the Model Y is about 10% larger and that it's overall a heavier car, I'm guessing maybe about 300 miles of range, which is already a 20 mile increase, which is really great. It's great to see any increase here because for a $61,000 starting price for the performance version of the Model Y, a 280 mile range is a little bit low. So even if we see 290 miles, that'll be great since actual usable range ends up being a little bit lower than what the EPA estimated range is. So maybe if it's 290 or 300 EPA, then we can actually see 280 miles of usable range. Then for the long range rear wheel drive, which starts at $48,000, and that's the one that I ordered, and it's the cheapest one available for pre-order, at least until the standard range comes out next year. If we do similar calculations with that, we're looking at probably 320 miles of an EPA estimated range for the rear wheel drive long range. And again, the top range of the Model 3, even though it's not a perfect comparison because it's an all wheel drive compared to a rear wheel drive, the top range of the Model 3 is 322 miles. So that's only two miles less for the rear wheel drive in the Model Y. So again, doing some estimations there, I would say maybe 310 miles of range on the long range rear wheel drive. I'm subtracting a little bit in all these estimates because I like to be conservative and I'd rather it come out and surprise me with a better range than me counting on something else and then it comes out with a lower range. Even so, if we're looking at 310 miles, that extra 10 miles is great because it can hopefully get you closer to a usable range that is actually 300 miles. And these all go in line with stuff I've said before because the Model 3's range has increased based on software since the Model Y was announced and it's built on the same platform and Tesla hasn't given us any updates whatsoever about the Model Y since the announcement event. So it makes sense since they're gonna be using the same software that we could see that same increase on the Model Y and it looks like this CARB certification is further evidence that it'll have better range. So is it possible that we will see the Model Y delivered in February? Yeah, it is, it's very possible. I'm not totally counting on it and I'm not gonna say expect the Model Y next month, but it's definitely possible and if they're sitting on these cars, I don't see why they wouldn't start delivering them. But keep in mind, it's gonna be the performance version first, so if you're like me and you got the long range rear wheel drive or even the all wheel drive, you're gonna have to wait a little bit after the performance ones get first delivered. But if you ordered a performance Model Y, you're hopefully gonna get it really soon. And definitely let me know when you get that. I'm super excited to see that car. And then is it possible that the range will be increased? I think it absolutely is. Based on the software evidence of the Model 3 increasing and then this new evidence from the CARB certification, I think we can expect an extra 10 to 20 miles on each version of the car. I'm gonna be conservative and just count on 10, so 310 miles of range on the long range rear wheel drive, puts it right in line with the Model 3 where it's currently at, and that's a great increase. Even just 10 miles extra on each version is really great, getting the long range rear wheel drive up to 310 miles in the Model Y. So what do you think the final ranges of the Model Y will be? 
And do you think we'll see deliveries in February? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And once again, I'd like to thank my 3000 subscribers and every single person that's watched any of my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to stay up to date on all the videos I'm gonna be bringing out about Tesla and specifically the Model Y, especially once I get that car, I'm gonna be doing tons of videos with it. So stay tuned for those videos and thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.